We need a place where users can download our published Mali application. So currently we have a GitHub Actions workflow that builds, signs, and publishes our Mali application, but we upload our published Mali application as just an artifact to our build. So in order to download this application, we have to come into our GitHub Actions, go into our workflow run, and here we have our artifact and we have to download it here. So it's kind of hidden, not very visible to our users. So overall, we need a more visible place where users can download our application. And a good candidate here, we're using GitHub, we're using GitHub Actions. Let's use GitHub releases. So when a user wants to come and download our application, they can come into our releases, go to the latest release and download the installer from there. So whenever we create a release, we have to reference a git tag that points to the commit of the release. So we need to create a tag before we create the release. And in our case, it would be ideal for our tag to be named after the version of the application that we're publishing. So that being said, we're gonna have to get into a little bit of versioning here. So after we publish our application and before we get into creating a release, again, we're gonna have to create a tag that tag is gonna be based off the version of our application. And I want that version to live in our CS proj. So we have this application display version tag in here, and I would like this to be the source of truth for the version of the application that we're publishing. So for example, just for testing, let's give this a different version that we can look out for when we're testing, which means we wanna extract this value from our CS proj from inside of our pipeline. So to do that, we're gonna add another step here for extracting the version, and we're gonna be running some PowerShell here. So the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is read all of the XML from our CS proj. So to do that, we can do a git content pointing to our CS proj file, and let's cast that as XML. And now we can dig into that XML and get the version. So based off our CS proj XML variable, we wanna dig into the project, property group application display version. So let's do that project property group application display version. And this is going to represent a version type. And let's cast our version as a string for this next step. So what we're going to do is pipe our version in this specific format. So version equals our version variable. We're going to pipe that into our step output. So this will allow us to reference the version that we extracted from different steps in our pipeline. And in order to reference this step, we do have to give it an ID. So let's add that, we'll just call it extract version. So now that we have a variable with our application version, we can create a tag from this version. So next step, we're gonna create a tag. This is gonna be using GitHub script. So I wasn't able to find a better action that we could use to easily create a tag. So we will have to manually call some GitHub script functions as we'll see. And then we're gonna have to pass this action, our GitHub token. So essentially granting this action access to push a tag to our repository. And now we can get into the script that we wanna execute. So we ultimately wanna create a ref. We need to specify the owner so we can dig into the context of our workflow and just grab the current repository owner. So we're gonna be running this workflow from Singleton Sean Maui tutorial. So the owner is going to be Singleton Sean. And same kind of thing for the repo, running this workflow within the Maui tutorials repo. So that's going to be what that repo value is. We're also going to be tagging the current commit that we're running this workflow from. So that's going to be the workflow context SHA. Easy to get here. And last but most important, we have to specify what this ref is. So this is going to be a tag for our version. So we're gonna prefix it with V. And now we just need to dig into the output from this extract version step, which we can do with steps reference our step ID with the version, the outputs, and the key for our version output is literally version. So let's grab that. And there we go. This will create a tag for version 1.2.0. So now that we have a tag, it's just a matter of creating a release from this tag with our installer and our certificate. So no longer going to be uploading these things as workflow artifacts. Instead, we're going to be creating a release. So let's add a step to create that release. This is gonna be using this helper action here for creating a release. I'll link the docs for both of these actions in the description actually, if you wanna check them out, see how they work, see all the different options. And then for this release that we're creating, we wanna reference the tag that we just created. So that's V and then the version that we got from our extract version step, there we go. And now we just need to specify all the different files that we wanna to upload to this release. And I believe we can't do globs here, like we can't glob all of the MSIXs in 
our published directory because what that's going to do is dig into this dependencies folder as well and grab all of these msixs that are named microsoft windows app runtime 1.3 and there's multiple versions for different platforms of this installer so we're going to end up trying to upload multiple artifacts that have the same exact name and that's going to cause this step to fail so instead, let's reference our MSIX and our certificate directly. So we'll dig into app packages and then the folder containing our MSIX. And then we'll grab the name of our MSIX. There we go, it looks good. And then same exact thing for the certificate, which I believe goes to the same exact path as the MSIX, but has the certificate extension instead, so .sir. So now obviously, as you already see, we can't reference or hard code this version here because that's gonna change on future releases. So instead, let's just reference the version that we extracted from our csproj. So reference this variable from our previous step output and replace 1.2.0 with our version variable. And we gotta do that in all of the places. So actually looking at this now, there's probably a better way to glob this. So feel free to experiment if you wish, but I think this will be fine for now. And actually, last thing before we test this, I remember this from before. In order to create tags or create releases in our GitHub workflow, we need to grant our GitHub token permission to write repository contents. So as we can see here, the contents write permission gives our action permission to, for example, create a release, which is exactly what we need. And this should also cover creating tags as well. So at the top of our workflow, let's add another item here for permissions. And we want to set the contents permission to write. So here we go, moment of truth, workflow running. Let's see how this goes. You know, it's really satisfying to just watch the build sometimes. Here we go, extract the version, create the tag, create the release. There we go, success. So let's head over to releases and see what we got. There we go, latest release here. Let's go ahead and just download the installer. We already trusted the certificate last time, so we shouldn't need that here anymore. All right, let's run this installer. We already have the application installed, so this is just an update, but same thing, should work. There we go, and success, hooray. So in summary, all we did was extract the version from our csproj file, and then we used that version to create a tag with the version name pointing to the commit of our published application. And then we use that version tag to create a release and upload our installer and certificate. So still much more to do. Versioning is really quirky. It's manual. We have to manually go into our CSProj version and bump it ourselves. It's mistake prone. So in the future, we'll look into auto versioning, which will be fun. But now that we have versioning, and we also upload our published application to GitHub releases, that means we have a single spot where our latest release lives. And since we have that, we can leverage that for automatic updates, which is gonna be really cool and is what we're probably gonna get into next time. But in the meantime, hopefully you can apply this to your own project to publish your Maui application as a versioned GitHub release.